Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Anatomy. My name is Sean. Today we're doing something a little bit different than our typical bringing classics back to life. So as many of you know, um, I have a passion for German cars as well, and my daily is a, a Porsche 958 Cayenne diesel. And it's been a fantastic car, but um, it's got about 110,000 miles on it now. And last week, I started to smell a little bit of coolant on it. Now, this thing has been absolutely stone reliable. Um, in 110,000 miles, I've put tires and brakes on it and changed the oil, and that's been about it. So I popped the hood and noticed that there was a little bit of, uh, of water splash on the front of the engine, and it looked like it was coming from the area of the water pump. So I think that the water pump has finally decided to go out on this thing. So today we'll tear down the front of the engine, change the water pump, vacuum the cooling system and put in some brand new Porsche cooling and change the oil at the end of it because I need to do that anyway. Before we get started, if you like seeing classics being brought back to life, like our project flooded Corvair over there, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the like button and ring the bell to be notified when new videos come out. It's an absolutely free way to help support our channel and I truly appreciate that. All right, let me show you what we're working with on the front here and we'll start tearing this engine apart. All right, with the hood up, you can already see a little bit of the evidence that uh, this thing has been leaking. And with the beauty cover off, it becomes really apparent that we've got a coolant leak that's kind of uh, starting right around the water pump. So here's a water pump and you can barely see, let me see if I can turn a light on here, a little bit of like pinkish tinge to the aluminum here. And that's because the coolant that Porsche uses on these things is pink. So it doesn't look like this is gonna be too terrible of a job. Um, I think the first thing to do is let's vacuum down the cooling system, get all of the cooling out, um, probably pop this um, intercooler hose off and then pull the belt off. Then it looks like just three bolts on the, uh, the water pump pulley. And then I think we can actually get to all of the, um, all of the water pump bolts pretty easily. And, oh, and it looks like my belt is also starting to uh, to go. So it's a good thing that, uh, that we're doing this. So I reached out to Pelican Parts and they actually have a water pump kit that includes everything that you need in order to replace the, uh, the water pump on your 958. Um, now I'm not sponsored, I paid full price for everything here, um, but it includes a brand new belt, a new water pump, um, new water pump bolts, and then Porsche approved coolant and they've got it in one package. It's just one part number that you click and order it. Um, I don't remember the exact price. I think it was a couple of hundred bucks, but everything showed up to my door in a few days and I think we've got everything that we need. So let's start by vacuuming down the cooling system, getting everything out of the, uh, the engine. It's probably a good time to replace the coolant anyway, since I've not replaced it since, uh, since I've had the vehicle. So just preventive maintenance, it's worth doing anyway. So before we get too deep into it, I just want to get uh, some of the other things off of the front of the engine. Um, I've already pulled off the little hose, the uh, intercooler hose. And next, I think I want to take the belt off. And then that way I can really show you what the, uh, the leak looks like around the water pump. So coming around to the front of the engine, here is your tensioner right here. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there is a... Looks like a Torx bit right here. And I don't actually have a Torx bit that size. What I do have is a nine millimeter Allen wrench on a socket that um, fits in there really snugly. Now, is this the perfect way to do it? No, but this is what I have right now. And I need to change the water pump. So, and it looks like the way that we remove this is we're gonna lift up on the tensioner, dropping this pulley down and releasing tension on the belt. So let me get my wrench here and we'll see if we can get this belt off. Yeah, it was a good thing that we uh, are replacing this belt because it had already lost a rib. So it was time. So I have to confess that I was a little concerned about, um, you know, the water pump being the, the primary problem because I'd read um, on some of the 958 forums that there's like a little washer back here or a, uh, an O-ring that you basically have to strip the whole front of the engine off in order to, to get to. 
But then once I got the belt off, I saw this. I think that's definitely our problem. All right, let's get this pulley off, get the, uh, the water pump off and fix this once and for all. So in order to take the water pump pulley off, which would have been a lot easier had uh, we left the belt on to loosen the, the nuts or to loosen the bolts, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter triple square. So let me see if I can find a way to hold this. There we go. Yeah, with the uh, the pulley off, you can really see there's a uh, a ton of wobble in the the front of the water pump, and there's even some water on my fingers just from playing with this. So this is definitely our source of our leak here. And then it really just looks like we uh, we just pop the uh, the bolts off here, and the water pump comes straight off the front. So it looks pretty straightforward. All right, with the coolant all out, it's time to actually pull the water pump itself off. Now this is held on with a bunch of small, looks like maybe M5, M6 bolts, and looks like maybe there's about a dozen or so. Um, looks fairly straightforward. All we've got to do is just take these loose and then the water pump should just come straight forward. All right, let's loosen these up. In order to take these off, these are a T30 Torx. So make sure that you've got a T30 Torx before you begin. So we've got all 10 bolts out. Um, I think the water pump's ready to come out. Coming over to the bench, you can really see how worn out the, uh, the old water pump is. Um, the seal on it is pretty flat right through here. So even if the impeller or the, uh, the front bearing didn't fail, this was probably getting close to, uh, to starting a leak. But when you look at this, hopefully I can get this on camera, there is a ton of, of play in this. All right, so this is definitely the, the source of our, our leak. Um, not uncommon, I mean, front bearings wear on water pumps and for 100,000 miles, I think that's, that's pretty good. The new water pump has a little bit different design. It has a metal impeller. Um, not sure if that's gonna be better or worse, but this is what the, uh, the replacement came with. So I've got a new seal to put on here and we'll get this, uh, get this guy back in the car and hopefully back up and running here in just a little bit. All right, with the uh, the water pump and the pulley all back on, pulley's not tight yet. We'll wait until we get the new belt on. We've got a brand new Continental belt. It's a 6PK2523. Let's go ahead and get this guy on, tighten the, uh, the water pump pulley, put the intercooler pipe back on, then we can vacuum the coolant down, fill it up with new coolant, and we should be done.
okay, so we've got the uh, the cooling system vacuumed down. You can see our hoses are completely flat here. So we just gotta let this sit for a while, make sure we don't have any leaks, and then we can start putting in our Porsche antifreeze. All right, so we've got it all vacuumed down and full with coolant. Um, it took a little over a gallon of full strength coolant and just about a gallon of, uh, of water just to get that 50-50 mix. Um, I'm sure it's gonna take a little bit more once we finally crank it up, but I think we're ready to go ahead and fire it up. Um, I don't see any leaks so far, belts on. I still need to change the oil, but we'll do that after we get this, uh, this engine up and up to temperature. All right, let's fire it up and see what happens. So far, so good. Um, that looks like it's running true. I don't see any major leaks. I still need to take the, uh, I still really need to clean this thing up, get all this old coolant off. So once it, um, it comes up to temperature and we don't have any leaks, we're gonna take this thing out and just pressure wash and clean, make this thing look uh, brand new again. All right, we're taking it for its first drive. Um, gonna run and get some fuel. So far, everything looks good. Um, it's come up to about 200 degrees and seems to be sitting there just fine. Uh, don't see any leaks. So I think we may have fixed the problem. So I know this is a deviation from our typical content where we're bringing classic cars back to life. And I promise I've got more coming up on the Corvair. Um, we've got some rust repair videos coming up, plus one new project on the, on the Corvair that I think you guys are gonna flip out about. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure you click on that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out. It's a free way to help support us, and we absolutely appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourself. God bless. We'll see you next time.